G'day, gone. If we're looking at some Australia muscle cars, the best sounding Aussie muscle cars. Sign me up for this. We're going to jump straight into this. This is from EFXR6. That is the channel name. And this is a smaller channel, so make sure to check them out. We'll be looking at parts of this, so make sure to use the link down there. Watch the whole video and browse their stuff. But yeah, let's jump straight into this. You know, as an American, we love V8s. We love muscle cars. And that's one thing that Americans and Australians really connect on, right? We all love muscle cars. You guys make some great muscle cars. I think we do as well. It's a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead. Oh my God, this thing sounds great. <laughs> that's a uh, Holden for sure. I think he said it was a Kingswood, this first one. I could be wrong. Damn. Oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> it literally have a die cast that's very similar to this car back there. Probably off the screen, but Yeah. What a beaut, man. Monaro GTS. Oh. Looks great and sounds even better. I would take one of those in a heartbeat. Now, this next car, this old orange, rusty old Tirana, this is Mark Drew's uh, drag challenge winning six second street car. It's Holy a, it's got smokes. It's 400 uh, cubic inch uh, block in it and twin turbos. And just have a look, have a listen. This thing is a beast. <laughs> Sounds like it. Wow. No, I love Tyrannus. Oh, I see. I'm all about this. Like that Holden Hano van we looked at a few weeks ago. I love cars that are fast and kind of beat up, faded, scuffed, dirty. I don't know what it is. Something about old muscle cars that just happen to be like that. You know, beat up combined with like a randomly clean as F engine bay that's making a hell of a lot of power it's a weird combination that oddly really works for me i like it a lot already dude it's perfect see we got the long rough start dude this thing is badass oh my god i love that it's a four-door oh that sounds good Wow. Love that it's dirty, dude. Look at the rubber. I think this thing might have spun its tires quite a few times over the years. Or recently. Oh, that is so freaking sick, dude. Wow. You know what? It sounds great. It, may I add, it also sounds a little bit like muted, for lack of a better term. Like, it's loud. It's audible, but it's not, like, crazy. And so I think this thing is definitely sleeper status. Like, would blow people away, and they would have no idea based on the looks and even, like, the sound of it, right? <laughs> it's a cool car, dude. Oh, man, these Tiranos are so good looking, dude why they're my favorite i just love the dimensions i love the way they look they sit uh and there's so many ways you can do these so many colors you can pull off so many you know uh, modifications wheel and tire packages everything they're just cool they're a great platform man oh wow they're t whoa those are twins they're literally yellow twins tyrannus <laughs> it's probably not something you see every day. What a great sound. Okay, this thing is awesome. Ford Falcon. Remember, I'm always kind of like lean towards heavily pretty much towards Team Holden. But man, I got to say, when I've learned about these like Ford of Europe, right? A lot of cool stuff. Of course, over the years when I learn about Ford Australia cool freaking stuff dude remember i'm not the biggest ford fan in the u.s but like you know these different subsidiaries of ford from different countries 
they really kind of nailed it, man. This thing is awesome. And and let's be real. I, I don't hate Ford. I mean, there's, of course, especially when we're talking about this era, there's a lot of cool U.S. Fords, right, from the 60s and the 70s. I just happen to favor GM and, you know, Mopar Chrysler products more. But, uh, yeah, Ford has honestly made some awesome stuff. But Ford Australia in particular really gravitate towards these. This thing is sick, dude. <laughs> this thing is mean, and it's big, too. And it has a sound that fits. All right, here we go. Also, what a cool combo. I love how it's black. It's got this, um, what would you call it? Like the vinyl roof or like a textured roof? I feel like I've always known what that's called, and it's like not coming to me right now. So I apologize. But you see how that's different. It's not painted like this, right? This was very common on older cars, of course. Uh, but I actually like that on this car. Not to mention, combined with this bright white interior, uh, and you even get a little bit of a contrast just because you do have a black dash, it looks like. So a black dash, but white door cards, white seats. I, I mean, this thing is sharp, dude. And then I I always think of these as like centerline wheels. Uh, they might not be that, but that's what it reminds me of. Very cool vehicle, dude. And the sound is addicting. <laughs> oh my god that is amazing between that and that dirty Toronto we saw earlier that'd be a tough freaking choice dude that is th this is hella cool now this is cool so I'm a little different right I always prefer the older stuff uh you know there's just something about it right but I always add that like the 80s and the, all, basically through the 90s, there was this different era in Australia that we didn't really have here in the U.S., right? Cars were just becoming, everything was like front wheel drive and six and four cylinders. And, uh, you know, the only muscle cars you had were maybe, you know, like the Mustang and I guess the Camaro, but they were at like a low point where they weren't very powerful. Uh, they were kind of lackluster in design, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you didn't have a lot going on in the U.S. in like the late 80s, all through the 90s. It was a weird era. It was a good era for like, I guess, regular boring cars, but not quite muscle cars on our side of things. But in Australia throughout the 80s and throughout the 90s, you guys had a lot of rear-wheel drive cars still, which is awesome. You had a lot of, you know, big inline-six cars, a lot of V8 cars, and it was just kind of cool. And you have cars like this, this sporty muscle, you know, sedan. You know, it's still an Aussie muscle car, but it, it's more of like a sporty car, right? You know, it's low slung, and it's clearly, you know, a lot different than a lot of these 60s and early 70s cars we've been looking at. But it's really cool. Like I said, it's way more unique because we didn't really have offerings like this at the time. So I'm going to throw this one in there and then I'm going to cut it there because there's a lot of cars in this video that we did not feature here. So use the link down there and check out his original channel. But uh, yeah, let's hear this thing. First of all, it looks, it looks straight up sexy in that dark green. Look at this Skoda. How cool. <laughs> I like those too. Um, not a muscle car, but still kind of fun. But yeah. This thing, like, I just like the design, the design of these. And yes, you guys got me after all these years saying HSV, which I probably still not saying correctly, like a true Aussie, but I'm saying it different than I would say it, right? American, of course, would be HSV, like kind of robotic, but I know it's HSV, right? But uh, come on, they make some awesome stuff. You can see the badge right there. This thing looks and sounds great, dude. Just a sharp looking vehicle. Holy smokes. It looks like it'd be hella fun to drive, dude. Wow. You know what? I love that era too. Look. Look at those seats and the door inserts with that funny like splash pattern or tear pattern, whatever you had back then. It was absolutely hilarious. I freaking love it, dude. What a beast. Looks beautiful. I mean, it's in great shape. 
no rust, no, you know, it's not beat up, not dented up. And, and look at it underneath. I mean, this thing is awesome, dude. <laughs> Damn, might be modified as well. I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, those are just a little taste of some of the best sounding Australian muscle cars. I would love to hear if you agree with this list, of course, and and what else should be on there. Uh, and of course, this only scratches the surface. I mean, you can make a list three hours long of uh, amazing sound clips, I'm sure. But yeah, I thought this one looked pretty fun, and uh, it was. I totally enjoyed that, like I like I thought I would. <laughs> so use that link down there uh, to look at the whole thing, of course, and browse his stuff. That was awesome. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I got to hand it to that Ford, man. That Ford Falcon sounded incredible, and that thing just had a presence to it. I absolutely loved that car. Uh, the Dirty Tirana towards the beginning was awesome as well. Uh, but with that being said, I have a lot of Australian content, especially Australian car content, kind of like the OG days on this channel uh, that are coming this week. So make sure and stay tuned for that. And of course, uh, you know, keep up with any ideas or suggestions, especially along the lines of that kind of stuff. I would appreciate it. Uh, I have some really cool stuff coming and it just gets me excited because this is like, you know, what I did so much of uh, at the beginning when this channel really started kind of picking up steam and uh, it, it's there's something special about it, man. I, I love connecting with Australians and especially like Australian car people, the muscle car scene, all that stuff the race car scene, motorsports, all that jazz. You know, you see all the Australian muscle cars literally on my shelf back here. Um, it's freaking awesome, dude. I think it's no secret. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite series on this channel. Long running, by the way. But I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And maybe I'll see you in the next one. My name is Ian. You watch 9W Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.